Hi, I'm Zeke, KJ7NLL. So in the last video, we made layout cells for all the components that we will make in this video. Now we're going to create our circuit schematics. So project, right click on circuit schematics, new schematic, three pin header, okay, create. Now we're going to do control P, enter, and we'll do that three times. You can actually use control C, control Z here. And we'll put that there. And control C, control Z, and this here. Okay, now we're going to do project, right click on circuit schematics, new schematic. That's all the three pin header is. Now we're going to name this one 10 pin header. Okay. Now we're all now we're going to do control P ten times. And here's the way I like to do that. I like to do control P twice, control A, control C, control Z, control A, control C, control Z. And this is the fastest way to copy paste. You're doubling it every time. And then at the very end, you have eight, port eight. So we're going to do these, control C, control V, and paste them here. All right, so that is the 10 pin header on a schematic. Okay, so now we're going to make the I and D with ground. We're going to use a W instead of with. So right click circuit schematics, new schematic, I and D space W back uh, slash G and D. And we're just going to do control L, I and D, enter closed form, and control P on either side. So port one there, control P, control right click, for flip, left, right, and control P again. Because that's how this works. This third port is ground. So now we're going to go um, to project, right click circuit schematics, new schematic, LFET, LFET, and we're doing L and we're making it LFET because it's an inductor with a FET. Okay, so now we're going to do control K. So it, it doesn't like doing control K, we think, because it has a slash in the name. F2, and we're going to take that slash out. Rename. Now LFET should work, control K. There, I need with ground. Okay, and we'll click, put this right here. We're going to flip this, right click, flip and control click the center. It doesn't actually have control click. Um, and we're going to flip it up down. There, I need with ground. So now we're going to do Alt V L. And this is what it looks like, nothing. So we're going to give this a layout, the I and D with ground. And we're going to make it the coil form inductor. So we're going to right click properties. You can also double click and you're going to go to layout, library name, ZCL, coil form inductor. Okay, there. Now we're going to do control L, LD mod, and we're going to control click name. Met LD MOS. Met LD MOS is it. Okay, now we're going to click this in right there. And the name doesn't matter. So now we're going to do Control L, R, E, S. Um, and it's actually called the RES, the resistor. Okay, now we're going to right click this and put it right there. 
this wire is going to connect to the two, port two, and there's going to be a port here, port one, and control P, port here, and we'll move that out of the way, and control P, port here. And these are both two, so this needs to be two. There. And you might be wondering why there's a resistor here. So the reason for that is we're going to need the resistor as a pull-down resistor. There will be a link in the description below for the video that we found this on. So now we're going to click, right-click, shape, uh, properties, and layout, click ZCL. 0805. Okay. And it's a resistor. If it doesn't turn purple like that, you need like that, you need to figure out why. So click right click properties and we're going to do ZCL and make this one the DM dot dot dot. There. Now we're going to do Alt V L. Okay. Now we're going to Slide these apart, right click, rotate, and 90 degrees. There we go. And we want to make sure, let's see. Okay, and then we're going to do flip, left, right, because it doesn't really matter. So then this is going to go, all right. Right click, rotate, negative 90. This is going to go here. At least it will. And we're going to connect this right here. Now we're going to double click um, and move it up like that. Now we're going to double click this. Flat. Now we're going to hit the W equals at the top. And, oh. 12, I guess it's already set. Okay, but its default is three point blah, blah, blah. And I think that's reason is because it's in metric. Okay, we're going to click that out of that. Okay, now we're going to right click, click, right click, rotate 90 degrees. We cannot flip sets. And we're going to put this down at the bottom here. You can control zoom in and you'll want control G turned off to get it lined up. So now we're going to click on double click this flat line, control click there. And wait till it goes flat click and double click there and double click there. And now see the rat line has gone away because we have connected to it with a wire. We're going to double click this rat line and do the same for all the others. This rat line though is a little weird because it is touching the pad. Um, so we're going to go inside of it with our um, connection. So there, inside there, and there because that doesn't really matter it just needs to connect and it's inside the pad so it'll all print print out as one piece of metal and now we have the <clears throat> the LFET okay and the IND with ground okay so now we're going to go to project right click circuit schematics new schematic and we're going to make this one called one band. Eight, okay. So now we're going, first we're going to control K and add a three pin header and we'll put this three pin header right here. Control C, control V. Control right click, and we'll put this one right over here. 
now we're going to do right click properties and click ZCL and we'll make this the three pin header okay and do the same for this we're actually going to delete this control C control V this control right click this and put it over here and it will keep our settings here okay so now we're going to do so now we're going to do control K and make the and do the iron E with ground okay right click and we'll put this right here like that port 1 will connect here and we will do control C control V control right click and this we can do shift click it makes a line and then line them up like that this is this one's so we're going to put it right there and this right here so now we're going to connect these here to here just click you can also do that with wires and click and move that make that there and we're going to do the actually that's supposed to go to port three so up here and there control move this one here it'll delete the wire so then we're going to do it doesn't matter which port you do it from i'm going to do it from this one and shift click there now the port three on the ind with ground is the ground because if we do control g for ground it will think they're all connected so we need a ground and these are port three on the coil form inductor so we're going to connect these to ground port on the three pin header port three is the shield on the inductor so now we're going to do control l and do m l i n enter micro strip line and move it here so now we're going to do right click place in layout and click there now we're going to do control c control v and put this here we're going to do all these and move them there now control l cap enter and click there now we're going to move these forward and connect them to this capacitor so this capacitor is going to be used because we found that it was good when we were doing simulations on my first hf radio 11 band extension video 0805 properties 0805 okay there now we're going to do alt v l and now we have to give the ind with grounds layout so properties zcl and coil form inductor okay and click right click properties or double click zcl coil form inductor there now we can go to alt the L will take us there and there we have the one band so now let's do draw control a shift click the capacitor and do draw a line middle then right click rotate these 90 degrees there so now we're going to do space these 335 mils apart so to make it fit on the SSB 6.1 board. So 
going to rotate them like this and like this. Shift click these, draw a line middle and right click shape properties freeze. Okay, now these will not move. So we're going to do control A and it looks like this goes over here, and this goes over here, and this capacitor, we will rotate it, 90. And one more thing in the one band, schematic. We're going to make these 25 by 225, that dot doesn't matter. And 25, 225, you can actually do tab. Now we're going to go here, and now the ends are a little shorter, so we're going to put them right here, and we're going to put this one right here. And this, we're going to flip it. It doesn't really matter, it's this aim. And this we can flip right. And this, right click, flip. Uh, we have to unfreeze it to flip it. Okay. Right click, flip. And we'll control click the center there. To the left, right. Right click, shape properties, freeze. Okay. Now we're going to put this right here and put the capacitor right there. So this is actually not 225, it's 255. That's why we had a problem in the layout. So 255 on each of them. And one band there. And okay, so now we're going to unfreeze shape properties, unfreeze one of them. We're going to highlight these and alt e n n enter enter and that will snap them to perfect 670 from here to here because that is the distance on the board from pin to pin so now we're going to do and flip these flip so there, and now we're going to right click, shape properties, freeze. We don't want any, we don't want to bump this. And this is going to go here, right click, flip. There we go. Okay. So, and we'll flip this up down. So you have to shift click what you want and draw a line middle and that works so now we're going to click double click these and control click there Con shift click there and click there we're going to click double click this one control click there and click double click there and same for the other side just mirrored and that is the one band. Now, there are no sets on the one band because it's one band and it came with the SSV 6.1. We're adding bands. We're not taking bands away and adding new ones. So now we're going to go to, go to now we're going to do a save, control S. And if you haven't already saved it, you want to save it in the file and call it whatever you want. Now we're going to do project. Right click on the one band and uh, right click circuit schematics, new schematic. And we'll call this the two band.
Okay. Now, we're going to go back to the one band schematic. Control A, Control C. Oh, and you'll notice these are purple now because they have I nets between them. Now we're going to do Control A, Control C, and go over here to the two band, Control V. There. But it doesn't copy these. And I'll fetch. Now we need to add a port, control P, right here, because we forgot to do that last time. Now we're going to go back to the two band and right click, update instance, and it's connected. Okay, so now we're going to do click on, double click on this and make it an LFET and double click on this and make it an alphabet. Now we're going to click, right click properties. You can also double click and we're going to do default because the IND with ground does not have a layout. And we're going to do the same thing over here, default. Because the default is the layout in the alphabet. The IND with ground does not, so it just kept the same settings. Okay, so now the two band, layout looks like this. It can't flip, so we're going to, okay, so now we're going to rotate this, like this, and right click rotate, like this. It's also control R, and we're going to make the capacitor like that. Okay, so now we're going to click, right click, Flip, even though we can't do flip normally, we can do it here because it got flipped and it just kept this in settings as in the schematic. And so we cannot flip the FET because these components, the FET components are, they have a lot of different pins. Um, no, because they only have pins on one side, so you can't flip them upside down and put them on the board. So, now we're going to do this. Control, um, we're not going to box select, we're going to shift click these and draw a line middle. There, and now, this is supposed to be deleted because it's the two band. There, and delete. Okay, and we're going to put a port on there. So, control P, and control P. Control right click and that port too. Okay, so now we're going to do control C, control V, put it there, and connect these, and do control C, control V, and put it there, and connect these. Okay, now we're going to do control P, connect this here, press three, control P, and connect this here, control right click, there, port four. Okay, so now we're going to do over here, uh, no, here, and do these, shift these, shift click this, this, shift click these, draw a line middle. So now we're going to do, collect a box here, draw a line, face evenly across, Negative 15. 
and we will do the same thing here. Draw a line, mm. space evenly across, negative 15. There. Now these grounds are connected, um, um, but it still wants a rat line between them. So we're going to fix that rat line. But first we are going to connect these. So there to there, we can go straight, straight through and shift click there. Now we're going to go over here, double click there, control click center there, click there and shift click there. This is too close, so we're going to delete it and double click again. Click here, click there. Um, and to delete, we go there. So click there, just click there, shift click there, and go here. Wait till that rat line is there and control and shift click there double click there and we don't and now we have to do click right click reshape route click here shift click there and if click there and double click and now it has been redone and we're actually going to right click extend route and put it all the way through because it it doesn't have a very good connection so we're going to double click there okay home and the reason this is a lot longer here than here is because the resistors on this side there and on this side there so now we're going to connect our ground rat lines. And if you double click on something, it takes you to um, the sub circuit or the cell layout in this case. So we're going to control click there and shift click there. And double click this rat line, control click there and double click there. Double click this wrap line. I did it. Um, what did it do? What did we do over here? We did the center of that thing. So here we're going to do the center of that thing. Shift click there and double click. And double click this rat line and connect those. And now we have made the two band. Now we're going to make the three band. It's a little bit different. So, two band complete. This one, two, three, four setup is important for the etching board schematic. So, now we're going to do project. I click circuit schematics, move schematic, and we'll call this three band. Okay, now we're going to go back to the two band. Control A, Control C. Go here, Control V. Now we're going to make this a little bit longer by dragging it out. Actually, a lot longer because that is a lot longer. Okay. Now we're going to do control C, control Z, and put this here. Well, let's just delete all the ports and redo them when we're ready for that. Control C, control V, and we'll put this here. 
and make a connection there and there. Now, port one, control P, is going to go here. Port two, control P, is going to go, control right click, here. And control P, port three, is going to go here. Control P, port four, is going to go, control right click, here. Port eyes is going to go, B, control P, there. And port six is control P, control right click, there. Okay, so now we're going to do Alt Z L. And now we're going to do this. Control S, just in case it crashes. Draw a line, middle, draw a line. Space evenly across. This is going to be negative 15. So that they are touching like that. And these are going to be draw, control S, just in case it crashes. It crashes. Draw a line. Middle, draw a line, space evenly across, negative 15. There. Now we need to connect the rat lines with INET, so double click, control click there, control click here, and control shift click here, double click, and then here. It doesn't matter what order you do the rat lines in. Control click here, and shift click here, or control click. Um, but shift works better. And we will do these rat lines. Control click there, there, and Almost done with the free band. Control zoom in, double click, control, go there. We're going to click there, shift click there, and shift click there. Now we're going to go through um, up, shift click here, and shift click here. Um, that was double click, but it doesn't really matter. I'm going to start from here. Click there, and shift click here. Double click here. I'm going to start from here this time. Shift click here. Um, double click. Double click this. Control click here. Shift click here. Now the reason we're doing that is because it's pretty close to those grounds and we don't want our signal to get grounded out. Control does not work. Um, it sometimes works, but not as well. Shift works better. And we'll double click there. And there we have our three band. Now we have made the one band, the two band, and the three bands. In the next video, we'll be making the etching board schematic, which is where all the components will actually go. Thank you for watching.